And welcome back. Technology, it's supposed to make our lives easier, right? Well, not always. Sometimes it can be so confusing. Doesn't have to be. It can actually make our lives better. Joining us, tech sometimes. expert Anthony Manzaluzzo. You're going, ah, eh, maybe, sometimes. Possibly. Depends how you know how to use it. Well, we all, well if it's my mother, she's completely <laughs> lost. But we've got to get with the times here, right? You've got to get a smartphone. A lot of you people are afraid to get one, though. You need a smartphone. This, these two devices especially, we're being fair, we have the Droid and we have the iPhone. They make your life so much more productive. Mm -hmm. All of your email, everything comes right into it. And right in the room over there when I was waiting to come on, I actually use this as an internet hotspot. I brought my own internet with me. So I got a lot of work done rather than just sitting around. So smartphones are the way to go. Both of these phones can do that. Get yourself a smartphone. Now the big question though, because if, if you're not tech savvy, you have so many choices out there. You have the iPhone, you have the Blackberry. If you want to start, if you want to get a smartphone, honest answer here, which one would you recommend? iPhone's very easy to use. Mm -hmm. If you like network, point and click, it's very, very easy. The Droid's good. They're all actually good. What I usually recommend is go to your wireless shop. They're friendly. They'll take the time. And remember, you have 15 or 14 days to return it. Ah. So you could try it. And if you don't like it, take it back. Ask Just questions. Ask as yes. many questions as you want, right? Because you're the customer. I want to talk about Internet Explorer because a lot of people just go right to Internet Explorer. You say, wait, well, not so fast here, though. Not so fast. What I did was we have Internet Explorer loaded up here, but there's two really good alternatives. One picture I have up here, it's Google Chrome. Not that we don't hear enough about Google, but this is a lightweight. It's a fast browser. It's secure, and it's making a lot of headway. So if you want to improve your productivity when you're on the web, maybe make the switch. Internet Explorer, big, clunky, slow, mm. Firefox and Chrome, fast and secure. So Google.com forward slash Chrome. Right there, yep. All right, we see all these commercials about the cloud. Go to the cloud. What's the cloud? The cloud is a very funny thing. The cloud has been around forever. It's not the cloud. It's the Internet. Mm -hmm. It's taking the data that you have on your computer, your smartphones, wherever, putting it up there in the cloud, a.k.a. the Internet, and being able to access it from anywhere. This is the way it's going. Um, one of the things that we did have a little fun with today, we put on the cloud. I don't know if you ah. got a chance to see this. So this was us last week. But if you remember, we don't want to lose this picture. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the other fun of the cloud. If it's uh, running slow, it looks like the uh, access isn't given to us. But we had another pic. There we go. Oh, my God. You are right there. We, <laughs> we had were going to gonna retire that. that picture in 2011, now, weren't we? Now it's, now it's on the cloud is that? forever. So uh, you'll never have to worry about losing this, Thomas. I hope that cloud dissipates. It's there. Dissipate. It's not going away. <laughs> and don't forget to back up all your stuff. Anthony Mangaluzzo, always make our life a whole lot easier. Good yeah. to see you, my friend. Thank you. Let's head downstairs.